Hey everyone! In this video we're going to demonstrate how easy it is to set up scheduled backups for our web app hosted in Azure App Service using a feature called Azure Backup and Restore. Before we begin, few things to have in mind are that Backup and Restore feature requires the App Service plan to be in the standard tier or higher and backups can be up to 10 GB of app and database content. Otherwise, you will get an error. Let's assume we have a simple .NET Core web app connected to an SQL Server database, already hosted in Azure. This can be the default .NET Core web app template, where a user can switch between different views, create an account, log in, and do some basic account management. For this demo, we have created a resource group that contains a web application and the app service plan running on, an SQL Server database that our app is using, and a storage account that will be used to store our backups. If we click on our web app, we may see a choice called Backups. Clicking on it reveals a page where we can set up our backups policy. At the moment, we haven't configured anything, so we'll do it together. To start backing up our app, we can either click on the cog at the top bar or on this label. This action reveals another blade where we need to configure the storage account and container for our backups and keep in mind that these should be in the same subscription as the app that uh, you want to backup. Define the backup schedule and select if we want to include the databases our app uses to our backup. So, let's start by clicking on the storage settings. Select the storage account to use and also the container where we want our backups to be stored at. Click on the schedule settings, set scheduled backup on and here you can customize these settings based on your needs. But for this demo, we'll keep the defaults where scheduled backups are set to be once per day and the retention policy is set to zero days. It means that backup files will be kept indefinitely. Click OK and close this blade. Finally, clicking on database settings, we have the option to include with our daily backup the databases our app is using. So let's check on the box right to our database and click OK. Now that we have configured all our settings, we can click on the save button and in a few seconds a new backup process will start. Based on the size of our web app and database, this can take a while. Once the backup process finishes successfully, at the bottom of the page a new graph appears displaying the backup dates on x-axis and the size of them on c-axis. One thing to notice is that, except from the automatic backups, there is always the option to take a backup manually by clicking on the Backup Now button. In addition, using Azure Storage Explorer, you can navigate to the storage container you have selected in Backup Configuration and you can download them if you want them locally or delete them. Last but not least, restoring your app to a previous state or creating a new app based on one of the backups is also something very easy. You can click on Restore Now button, select one of the available successful backups, decide whether or not you want to override current site, or restore to another web app, and then just click OK. Hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching.